CBN's Brody Carter is following the latest in this ongoing crisis. Brody? Jenna, while delegates met in Belarus to potentially calm the air, a renewed Russian onslaught of missile attacks causing additional loss of life. All of this following President Putin's weekend move to put nuclear forces on high alert. This in response to severe sanctions now crippling Russia's economy. This video of an apparent Russian cluster strike on Kharkiv, Ukraine's second largest city, shows Kremlin attacks have only intensified. Russian rockets have killed and injured several. Make no mistake, Mr. Putin still has at his disposal significant combat power. He hasn't moved all of it into Ukraine, but he's moved the majority of it. He still has a lot that he hasn't moved into Ukraine. While Ukraine has delayed Russian forces from taking its capital city, satellite images show a three-and-a-half-mile Russian convoy posturing for another attack on Kyiv. And it's just a heartbreaking uh, story of, of uh, you know, people who are suddenly have to just leave their homes very quickly. CBN's George Thomas on the ground in western Ukraine says 500,000 Ukrainians have already fled to neighboring countries. He estimates up to 5 million refugees in total. The Ukrainian government is restricting uh, any man between the ages of 18 and 60 from boarding a train uh, because they are uh, needed to take up arms and to fight uh, the Russians. Ukraine civilians continue to bear arms and fight. Many seen making Molotov cocktails to use against the Russians. Ukrainian prisoners with real military experience have been released to fight for their country's freedom. Meanwhile, almost 28 NATO countries increased sanctions against Putin and Russian banks, sending the country's economy into a tailspin. The Russian ruble plunged nearly 30 percent against the dollar, and today Switzerland joined in, barring Putin from Swiss banks. Analysts worry, though, it only may provoke further retribution. Monday, nightfall brings another round of sirens and explosions for citizens of Kyiv and other major cities. The world now waits on the Kremlin's next move. A nuclear use would have devastating, devastating consequences. As President Putin continues his premeditated, unprovoked, unjustified, and unlawful war against Ukraine, the United States, along with our allies and partners around the world, will continue to hold the Russian government accountable. Military experts say the war in Ukraine is not going the way President Putin had planned. They estimate 4,500 Russian troops have been killed trying to overtake Ukraine. When asked if Americans should be worried about the prospect of nuclear war, President Biden simply says no. Jenna, back to you.